Hello, my wellbeing buddies. Uh, this one is for men. Uh, however, I'm not excluding anyone. If you want to watch, it will probably come in really handy because understanding the male menopause, or as I like to call it, the manopause, it will give you a bit of insight to what's happening to men, probably in their 40s plus. Uh, however, it may be a little bit earlier, but normally these symptoms are seen in 40 plus. Uh, and between 40 and 55 is the average age range for the male menopause. So let's get into this. We're going to discuss what it is. We'll look at some of the risks. We'll look at some of those signs and symptoms. We'll look at the treatment options and we'll look at what medication can be taken. So we know that the menopause is a natural biological process um, in women because it marks the end of menstruation. Uh, and it typically is diagnosed when a woman has gone 12 months without her period. Now, obviously, in men, we're slightly different because we don't have that, do we? But men do not experience menopause in the same way that women do. So they do not have the ovaries or the egg productions or those hormones like estrogen or estrogen, if I'm saying that right. However, men experience a decline in testosterone levels with age. And that comes with a, a kind of set of symptoms that is referred to as uh, the male menopause. So some of the common some of the common symptoms that you may see, sorry, is a lower sex drive. So a lower sex drive, testosterone levels drop in, sex drive drops, and male sexual functions can drop as well. So that whole libido piece happens. There could be problems around erectile dysfunction again, associated with that low testosterone levels. There could be an episode of fatigue and low energy. So looking at that low energy uh, and then obviously a reduction in stamina. So just feeling a bit sluggish and not as good as you normally are or, or you're on your game. There is normally an evidence in the mood change. So low testosterone levels can contribute to irritability mm -hmm. So if you're now quick to anger, um, depression and a lack of motivation. Equally, there is a reduction in body mass and bone density because testosterone is important uh, function for building all of that uh, and can or, or could lead to both. Uh, and equally, the graying, it's a sign of those testosterone levels dropping and therefore it could have something to be done as well. And equally, there's a whole change in the body composition. So low testosterone can contribute to an increase in body fat uh, and a decrease in muscle mass. So if you see your little muffin top coming, you've got an idea why. So if you're experiencing these symptoms of low testosterone, it's probably time to talk to your doctor. There is a simple testosterone test that could be done. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, they will be able to talk to you about other ways of managing this. So what are the risks then associated with the male menopause? Well, first of all, cardiovascular disease in men is much higher than women. So there is obviously a chance of developing cardio cardiovascular diseases, which is, can lead to heart attacks and strokes. Prostate cancer in men normally happens um, around that time, so 40 plus. So making sure you'll have your prostate checked. Uh, and again, signs of an enlarged prostate might be the fact that you've got some problems around urine retention, because again, the prostate is pushing down on that urethra uh, and causing some additional problems there. There may be some problems around uh, osteo uh, osteoporosis, so uh, common condition with ageing, but you may find you're a bit more crickety cr and creaking and cracking. Um, so again, we'll think about that when we look at treatments. There's that piece around erectile dysfunction, and then that causes things like low self-esteem. Um, it can cause stigma. The whole masculine, I need to be performing thing, all, all goes there. So again, huge problems. Diabetes, again, more at risk for, develop, more at risk, sorry, for developing type 2 diabetes, especially with that, the age and family history and conditions. And then when we think about it, Men are more at risk of suicide in between their 40s and 55s. And we think that this is heavily linked to this decrease of testosterone or what was commonly known as the midlife crisis. 
So we always knew that the man was in the midlife crisis by stereotyping and going, we get the tattoos, the motorbike appears, and we're doing some very radical things. So we now understand what that midlife crisis piece is with men. It's this reduction in testosterone, this change of behaviour, trying to keep up with it, avoiding this whole decrease of testosterone. So it's important for men to prioritise their physical and mental health as they age, obviously engaging in regular exercises, better eating patterns, managing stress on a better level, and again, getting better quality sleep. It's important to go for those NHS health checks, health checks at 40 plus and the NHS health checks there are for early screening. So in that health check, you'll have your HbA1, which is your uh, a little glucose drop for diabetes. You can have uh, your blood pressure and all of that done um, to see if you're hypertensive and that will uh, watch out for earlier signs of cardiovascular disease. So again, uh, hypertension can be a real problem, especially if you're on a combination of medication. So what are the treatment options? So let's just have a think about what some of the problems are, and then we can look at some of the problems. So first of all, if there is a drop in testosterone, you have your blood test, then you may go on to hormone therapy. And that's where you'll probably have low testosterone and replacement therapy to try and improve that. There are lifestyle changes that you can make. So healthy eating, regular exercise, stress management stuff, good emotional resilience, good coping skills, problem solving skills, all of that to manage those things. If it's health related, so for example, diabetes, type two, you might wanna change your diet. If you can't do diet, you might end up on metformin. Um, so again, just be mindful of that. If you've got high blood pressure, and again, you may end up on statins. So be mindful of that. Prostate checks, excuse me, prostate checks are really important because again, just making sure that your prostate is good, it's not inflamed. Um, and again, problems that you're looking for there is constant constipation, pushing, squeezing, bleeding, um, and obviously that water retention as well. So a, a prostate exam is really useful. That mood and anxiety piece, so if you've got a drop in mood, a drop in anxiety and that quick to anger, then talking to your doctor, maybe looking at an SSRI or looking at something just to help you, uh, or with the anxiety, you might be looking at some kind of benzo treatment just to help get you over this period and to help improve the quality of your sleep. And finally, then you're going to be looking around psychotherapy to make sure that you don't end up self-medicating. We don't want you to end up taking more drink and drugs. Um, because, again, if you do that, it's going to increase all of those risks and make it even worse for you. And not only that, introduced trauma and poor risk taking uh, will then have a massive knock on effect for you. So it's important then to make sure that you're working with your health professionals, uh, doctors, etc., to make sure that testosterone uh, and that male menopause that you're going through is dealt properly. Around the erectile dysfunction side of things, again, there are things that could be taken, CBT uh, to help with that, or again, Viagra if that's needed as well. So what I would say, there is a lot of stuff there to help men manage the effects of the male menopause. And what we need to do is raise awareness on this because some people still, still see this as a joke, but there is a reason why we have one of the highest suicide rates in men in that age range, and that is down to this. And equally, we need to be removing the stigma and we shouldn't be shaming men in that age because, again, their tolerance levels dropped. They've already got that weakened emotional um, resilience there. So uh, obviously being sympathetic towards that. And finally, what I'm going to do in the link below, I'm going to add a list of some charities, organisations and phone numbers. So if you are indeed a man and you think that all sounds like me, and I've got the, the grain and I've got that drop in my mood and I'm slightly more irritable and I've got that drop in um, sexual activity, maybe it's time to go for a blood test, get your testosterone levels checked and see if it's that. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, my name's Steve. I'm the mental health nurse. That was the male menopause. And uh, click and subscribe if you like this session. Take care. Bye for now.